Now let's look at this example in a different manner. That is the example in which we found a unit tangent vector at uh, pi over 3 1 at this point on the graph of this equation. So, so now we know that if uh, equation of the graph is given in the parametric form like this in the plane, then in that case uh, the derivative of this position vector is along the sorry about that is along the tangent line to the curve right. So, dr over dt this portion is tangent to the curve at that particular point. Okay. So, what we can do here is this that we can parameterize this equation by this equation I mean the equation that we were given and let us just try x t or x as a function of t just as t. Now, if we do that then of course, the other part is uh, you know written clearly for us that is y would be who 2 cosine of t all right and uh, then what happens is that for this given curve parametric equation becomes first coordinate is t or you know for the, uh, the the first component is t and the second component is 2 cosine t. So, if we compute or if we calculate rather ok if we calculate the derivative what we would get is the derivative of t is 1 and that of 2 cosine t is how much negative sin t it is a negative 2 sin t actually and uh, this corresponds to this point that we have here. This point corresponds to ok here x coordinate is pi over 3. So, you can see that our t our t which is what which is simply x that is pi over 3 all right. So, if I come calculate this uh, quantity dr over d t at uh, pi over 3 ok then uh, what that will be that is going to be all I have to do is that uh, substitute t equals pi over 3 in here ok and uh, sin of pi over 3 being square root of 3 over 2 ok. So, what will that uh, do for us? sin of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2 the, this 2 will cancel that 2 in the denominator and what we would get simply is 1 in the as the first component and negative square root of 3 as the second component. So, a unit vector along this would be what we just multiply this vector by the reciprocal of its length. Which, which you can easily calculate to be 2. So, a unit vector is 1 over 2 times 1 then negative square root of 3. So, this is just another way of when we use the position vectors to discuss the motion of a particle along a curve the you know this is a way in which you can you can find unit vector along the tangent line okay